Good evening, everybody. My name is Dan. Welcome back to the Forge Ender YouTube channel. I'm back at Arlington Raceway tonight. I'm not racing this time. I'll be following Michael Steen. Um, but this again will be a two day vlog. It'll be tonight at Arlington and then tomorrow at Toner's Lake. Uh, so it'll be a longer video. Um, I'll have timestamps kind of set up throughout this, but uh, it's gonna be an exciting evening here. Got the GoPro grabbing the charger right now. Uh, gonna put the GoPro onto Michael's car and then uh, we'll see what we can get for shots like that. But uh, then tomorrow will be Toner's Lake as I stated. So it'll be a longer video, but uh, I appreciate you watching. Appreciate you tuning in. Uh, make sure to stay for the whole thing. It'll be pretty exciting. So thank you so much.
video is uploaded, if you're watching this, you probably know that Kyle Larson won the Knoxville Nationals. I can't personally believe that that guy is as good as he is. I just, it is remarkable. It, it is just off the charts. He is the best wheel man on the planet. Lewis Hamilton. Always, no, he is the best wheel man on the planet. Lewis Hamilton's a great driver. He's an unbelievable driver in a Formula One car. Lewis Hamilton does not go race in a Formula One car, win in a Formula One car, and then go race anything else and win in that. That's the difference. Kyle Larson runs in the highest form of stock car racing possible, which is NASCAR. He wins in that. He beats top-tier talent in that. Then he steps into sprint cars and beats top-tier talent in that. Then he steps into a late model and beats top-tier talent in that. The guy is just unbelievable. He's just unbelievable. If he wins at the Indy Road Course tomorrow, there's, there's nobody on the planet who can say anything otherwise. He's the greatest driver on the planet. If he wins tomorrow, holy shit, if he wins tomorrow. Oh my God. I just, it's, it's just unbelievable. I don't get it. I don't get it. All right, rant over. Um, we'll see you guys tomorrow morning for Toner's Lake. I'm going to go home and dream about Kyle Larson. Holy shit. Two hours later. All righty, good morning, folks. Uh, it's Sunday now. We're heading to Toner's Lake here. Got everything loaded up. Trailer's hooked up. Truck's ready to go. Uh, we'll be heading out to Toner's here shortly. We'll be running uh, Clone Light. Maybe Clone Heavy, depending on how many carts they have. We'll see. We will see. But uh, regardless, it'll be fun to turn some laps. And hopefully the cart's set up really nice. And, you know, hopefully it'll be a nice success today. But be exciting. It'll be fun. We'll see you there. Alrighty, so we are here, Toner's Lake. I'm um, getting ready here to go hot lap. It's about 12 15 here. Um, I think we have like seven clone leans here. Um, there was like three clone buffs, so I just decided to go in the clone lean class. Uh, we'll see how things go, but really big thing I want to do is make sure the GoPro makes it all the way through so I can really analyze how I'm driving. But, you know, we'll see how the card handles and you know, have some fun. And it's probably one of the one of the last times we'll be out here, if not the last time, because we'll be four more races at Arlington, and the season will be over with. Um, so, you know, otherwise it'll be going to Cedar Lake Arena. But uh, yeah, so let's have some fun here, and we'll see how things go. <laughs> So we got a dusty day out here. They haven't watered the track at all. They still have the rubber on it from uh, from when the last race came through. Actually, right now they're watering just the very bottom of the track because that was just a straight up sand dust pit. But uh, hot lap still broke okay. Um, I had the hot lap tires on, which aren't prepped at all. So we will see what uh, what these prep tires feel like. But uh, it's 10 carts here, and they're running us all in the same heat. They're not splitting us at all. So. Um, I'll start P10 in the first heat, and I'll start P1 in the second. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm not here to win. I'm just here to try to figure this thing out and try to get her set up a little bit better because we've had our problem week to week. But uh, we'll see what happens here. So uh, moving on to the heats.
feet, uh, made it up to fourth. Um, and then I uh, was going into corner one there, and it's really slick, because I'm sure you'll see it's super dusty. So I'm going into the corner and just get the back end slapped by the cart behind me. Um, and we all just spun. And what's the point, you know? That's one thing about these carts, man. Don't make no sense, people just beat and bang, but uh, I guess I gotta learn to do that too. All right, so after the first heats, or the first two heats, um, I started P10 in the first one, finished P9. Uh, started P1 in the first heat, led the first five laps, and then, uh, you know, you make make one move, and uh, you get kind of punted up the track a little bit, which, again, that's kart racing, so, you know, that's just something I'm used to at this point. And the second you get out of that groove, half the field passes you, and then I, uh, I made a little bit of an aggressive move to try to get back up to where I was and lost the rest of the pack, so. Ended up finishing P10 in that too. So I'm sure we'll start P10 in the future. Um, but all that means is the only place we can go is up. So have some fun. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you after the feature because of the fact that the GoPro is probably not going to make it. Um, I'm going to have to get a charging block and have that thing constantly charging. But we'll try to get something.